When you feel like you're going to stumble, open your heart to rumble. What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Titans Return Legends Class Rumble! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right at the top here, we have Rumble looking all... he looks angry. He looks like he's in a bad mood. Somebody pooped in his cereal. And here he is in his alt mode Decepticon Rumble. He does work with and compatibly with and compatibly bully 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 with Soundwave. Right on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and you have your one sentence bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. They just photoshopped this. They didn't even put the new head on there. That's just what, that's, that's really, really? You can't even photoshop the new head? On the obligatory product shot, you couldn't even do that much? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? And that's basically it for the packaging. <laughs> also included is the collector's card with that same piece of artwork and the tech specs for Rumble. If that interests you, hooray for cards. So moving right along here, we have Rumble, who is a recolor, slight remold of a rewind. And, um... Yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to call him Frenzy. I mean, after this review's over, for the sake of officialness, I'll call him Rumble for the review. But um, to me, he'll he'll always be Frenzy. You know, I'm sorry I subscribe to the, you know, Rumble is blue, Frenzy is red thing because that's the way it was in the cartoon. That's what I grew up with. So that is just embedded in my brain. So sorry, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not sorry at all. It's my toy. I'll call it what I want. But anyway, here we have Rumble. And, uh, yeah, here he is in his spy tablet mode, which is what they're calling it on the package. And just for a quick comparison, here he is with Rewind. So you can see they are the exact same mold, just different colors with different stickers on the front. But the same thing. So there you have that. We're getting close here so we can see the details. You have a Decepticon symbol right up top, and you have various readouts and whatnot, seismic stuff and... Comlink stuff and scope stuff and warning stuff and just lots of stuff, lots of readouty stuff right there. Um, he does have a uh, kind of kind of spicy mustard color going on here. You see more of that on the back here, just that spicy mustard color. I don't get it. It's kind of weird. Don't much care for it. But hey, spicy mustard. But there you go. And it's the typical red and black motif for Rumble slash Frenzy, whatever you want to call them. So there you go. And for another comparison, here he is with Buzzsaw. So you can see they are basically the same size because they occupy... This is where my tongue stops working. Because they occupy the same space. And that space being Soundwave. So if you have Soundwave or if you have Blast or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can take him and store him inside. Hooray for storage. Yay! So there you have that. And, of course, he does include his weapon, which is the same long gun here, or rifle, or whatever. That came with Rewind, just cast in red plastic. And you can store it right here on the side, in this little notch right there, which I do appreciate. He does have the headphone jack, which, again, you can plug it. You can actually plug a set of headphones in there if you want. It does nothing, obviously, but it's still a cute little touch that they added to it, so... There you go. And for one more comparison, here he is with the G1 Rumble slash Frenzy because there's pressure. Who still listens to cassettes anymore, but it's pressure. Yes. So there you have that. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, uh, most important thing, always remember to take the gun out. Take the gun out before you transform him because that, that I've forgotten. I, I forgot one time and I went to fold this panel in and I folded it far and I am really surprised that I did not break this. So please make sure you remove the gun before you start moving these panels around because that could end very badly. So take this out, put that off to the side, and then just take these panels and unpeg them. Unpeg them like that and bring them up. And then you just bring this out, and you swing this whole assembly up. 
And this tab right here, we'll just go into this notch right there. Like so. And second verse, same as the first, just on tab, flip that up, bring that out, swing that around. Get that tab into the notch there. And there you go. And then you take the gun, and that just clips in right there. And there he is in his little tank mode. And I do like the little tank mode. I do quite dig it. So there you go. You have two sets of posts up here if you want to plug some Titan Masters on there, have them writing. And you have the treads picked out with that, uh, that spicy mustard color right there. He does have three little rolling wheels so you can roll him around. He rolls. Okay, he more slides than rolls, but hey, still pretty smooth. Woo! 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 You can do that. You can do all kinds of woo! So, there you go. And you can take the uh, cannon here and you can move it up and down. That's pretty much all the articulation you're going to get there. So, there you have that. And for comparison, here he is, again, with rewind. So, you can see the exact same thing, just different colors. So, there you go. And here he is with Buzzsaw in his vehicle mode, and I use that term loosely. So, there you have that. And here he is with G1 Rumble in his vehicle mode. Let's just pretend that never happened. Anyway, so there you have this little tank mode. So on to robot mode. Just unclip the gun there. Put that off to the side for now. And you want to take the arms and just unclip them. And bring that up. Bring that out. Bring that up. Bring that out. Leave that there for now. Take the legs and just fold it down. Rotate it forward. Flip up the foot. Bring down. Rotate forward. Flip up the foot. And then you just bring his arms down, rotate them at the bicep so everything is oriented properly. Then you flip down the chest panel, flip up his head, close it back up. And there you have Rumble in his robot mode. And I do like this mold. It would have been nice if he had gotten a new mold as opposed to just the uh, Rewinds mold. But yeah, it's still, I, I do still like this mold. So I, and I do think it works for Rumble. So. There we go, it's getting close here, so we can look at the head sculpt, focus, there we go. It's a nice head sculpt, I do really like the head sculpt. Red on the visor there, nice silver on the face, a very rumbly, rumbly head sculpt. You do have some nice new details there painted on his chest to give him that little G1 look, with the Decepticon symbol right there. And other than that, everything else is everything we have seen on Rewind. And again, I don't understand why this arm is filled in and this forearm is hollow. I don't get it. I still don't get it. But hey, it's a thing. It's a thing that exists. And we just have to deal with it. <laughs> you stand. You stand because it's normal. And of course, you can have him holding his gun. He can hold it in his hand or you can take it and plug it into this port right here on the side of his arm, if you wish. It would have been cool if maybe they had maybe had some way to plug it onto his back so you can get a little bit more... A little more G1-y about it, but hey, it's okay. Not the end of the world. Now, articulation-wise, the head can rotate. It is on a silver right there. You can use a transformation joint to have him looking up and down. You can get all squirrel. You can have that happening. The shoulders are on a ball joint. You can do a full 360. You can move in and out a little bit at that ball joint. You can also use a transformation joint as well to get some further outward movement. You do have a bicep swivel. The elbows can bend under 90 degrees, uh, nothing at the waist due to transformation. Uh, the hips are on a ball joint. They can go forward that far. They can go back that far outward. You can do the full splits. You do have a little bit of rotation there at that ball joint. And the knees are on a ball joint, so you can wiggle inward and outward. You have a nice deep knee bend there due to transformation. And the toe, you can move down. If that serves any purpose for you, it, it's there. So there you have that. Now for comparison, here he is with Rewind. So you can see that they are... The <laughs> you stand. What's the matter with you? Their feet are a little wonky. But anyway, as you can see, they are the same toy. Just different colors, different heads, but the same thing. So there you have that. Here he is 
with buzzsaw. So you can see how they look together. And here they both are with Soundwave. So you can see how they all look together. So there you are, I have lights. So there you go. There you go. And last but not least, as we come back down to ground level here, here he is with G1 Frenzy Kajish Pressure. I call him Frenzy even though he's rumble, but he's still going to be Frenzy to me, but he's still Pressure. Yes. So, there you have that. So there is Rumble. Um, or as I'm going to call him after this review, Frenzy. <laughs> Can call him whatever you want. I don't care. I'm gonna call him Frenzy. But there is Rumble officially, and uh, I do like the mold. I actually do think it works for Rumble with the big, you know, the big Popeye forearms. I think it actually does work for Rumble, and uh, I'm sure we'll get a uh, a Frenzy Rumble Rumble Frenzy as well, <laughs> so we can have the red and the blue. I'm sure that'll happen. But yeah, I do like the mold. Um, I like the new head sculpt. I really, I really do like the new head sculpt. I think it looks very good, and you know. Like I said, I think the mold works. I do like it, so I don't mind having it again, so. There you have that. So if you would like a Rumble or any other Titans Return figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Titans Return playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Titans Return Legends Class Rumble, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, pull me in your face! Oh, I knew I shouldn't have taken that nap. Where did Soundwave go? Long warrior! Listen to me, little one. Ah, if you spend your life living in the chest of another, eventually you will smell what they had for dinner. If you don't put me down, I will scream. It's time for walkies now! Walkies!